In big cities, it is the norm. I mean, it's difficult to meet someone in a place like London. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we're all very busy. I think we're all quite demanding. Mm -hmm. um, we all want somebody who's hot and intelligent and funny and, you know, all of these things. We all have the same criteria that we're looking for. So, yeah, it's really hard to meet someone. My first ever internet date was with this, this um, rich Buddhist guy oh. with a Porsche. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he looked a bit like, um, he looked a bit like Jason Bourne, but with dark mm. hair. Wow. This was about four years ago. Okay. There's more pressure mm. with internet dating. You know, it's, it's less spontaneous, it's more set up. Mm -hmm which takes away the romance, which takes away the kind of, in a way, the specialness of it. Sometimes you meet people and there's an instant spark and it's amazing and it's yeah. as if you've met naturally. Okay. But it doesn't happen. I've had a lot of dates that have just been non-starters. Mm. It's like shopping for people. So you go through all these profiles and you see all these faces. Mm -mm. And if you don't, you know, after one or two dates, if you don't like them, you just, you're just like, next. We met up, he looked nothing like Keanu Reeves. I mean, it was obviously his photo, mm -hmm. but he looked nothing like Keanu Reeves. Right. And he had a limp. <laughs> it was quite frightening. It was the third day. I was at his house. We were watching X Factor. <laughs> and uh, he suddenly said, I really want to get naked. <laughs> And I said, okay, I said, you can get naked, but I'm going to stay fully clothed if you don't mind. So within 30 seconds, he was on the floor, completely naked, kissing my feet, calling me goddess. <laughs> and if the guy is less than perfect, that's fine, because, you know, I'm no Claudia Schiffer, so... I mean, I don't want to be shallow here, but let's face it, we're all a little bit shallow, right? I mean, I don't want to go for somebody who's hideously unattractive, so I go for, first of all, I see the photo, and if I like the photo, then I read the profile, but the computer doesn't know whether somebody's hot or not. I'm into young, young guys at the moment, like early 20s. <gasps> yeah. Okay. I don't, I'm not really into George Clooney types. Hmm. It's difficult to know because you know you want to be sexy, you want to be attractive, but you don't want to be slutty. You don't want to be like appear too desperate. So, um, if I if I fancy them, but maybe there was no spark, I usually just snog them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there've been numerous guys that have hurt me in one way or another, but I'm sure I've hurt them as well. You know, it's a cruel world out there. Yeah. <laughs> we all hurt each other. It does become a bit like a treadmill, you know, guys get in touch, they take you out for dinner, they try to seduce you, or I try to seduce them. Yeah, I mean, we all, you know, the makeup, the clothes, it's all part of a performance, isn't it, until you know someone. You've got to get through the defences, we all have defences, and part of the game, you know, the makeup, the clothes, the whole, the whole thing, it's a defence, isn't it? And if they get through that, then they might discover the real me but I'm not easy to conquer, you know. If you want me to trust you or fall in love with you, then it's, it's difficult, it's very difficult.